Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little unboxing. I got my first Charmed Aroma uh, package in the mail today and when I checked the status of the delivery, it said it was delivered, that's good news. And then it said box is damaged. So I was a little nervous to see how the box looked and the box was a little damaged. So I took a quick video of me um, opening it. I didn't want to set up anything, sit down and start recording. I just took the box, opened it up, and just recorded that. So I'll put the clip in right now and do a little voiceover of me opening it. Alrighty, this is how the box was presented to me. It's slightly banged up and that side, it looked like someone already cut into, into it. So I didn't have to, actually no, it was this side. Look, it was already cut into and that, that tape was definitely um, broken. So it didn't take me that long to open it, but I'm going to hurry along and fast forward this part. And the box is open, and right now at this point I'm a little nervous to see um, what kind of condition the candles came in. And if you buy from Bath & Body Works, you know that most likely one thing will be destroyed or multiple things will be destroyed. So I was not really happy with the lack of padding. It could have been better. And this is the... That was the Chocolate Frog candle holder, and I'm taking out everything. And yeah, so we have one little thin bubble wrap down there, which is definitely enough. So this is a sneak peek of the candles that I got. But let's take a look at the Chocolate Frog. And yes, they did put it in its own little bubble wrap pouch. <laughs> yes, that's a little pouch, but look, it's, um, it's broken. So clearly that bubble wrap pouch was not enough, and there you go. There's a big chunk right there, and I was definitely not happy to see that. If a candle costs $60, if a candle costs $1, they should still um, wrap it up nice and secure. So there it is. So there's the chocolate frog candle that I got, and the top, actually the lid, was absolutely absolutely fine so that was good i can at least keep half i can keep the lid if i wanted to uh I, maybe i can salvage the wax but i will have to call charmed aroma and see and look there's a piece of hair there um yeah the person who packed my uh candles definitely she or he was losing a lot of hair because that's not the only place i saw hair at any rate there's the chocolate frog and yeah could have been better there's a overview of of the candle and pieces. Okay, welcome back. And now let me show you the candles. So as you see, the box, uh, one side was pretty open already and it was a little banged up. Charmed aroma. And I'll just do my bonnet toss again. There it goes. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the disaster that was, that is the chocolate frog candle. All right, here's the chocolate frog candle. And as you can see, there's a big chunk of it missing right there so I'm not too happy that this came pretty shattered or broken um it smells pretty good the chocolate scent is nice however it's a shame that um it's broken and there's the lid it's a very nice lid it's purple and gold and yeah it's very glossy i'm loving actually i really love this chocolate fraud container it looks really nice yeah it smells like a beautiful chocolate treat um they did a really great job with this it looks authentic spot on to what we see in the movie and it's like you can actually um get the sense of getting a chocolate frog in here it's a very good replica of the chocolate frog container or box oh boy i didn't even notice this but it's actually broken on the bottom there so it's completely broken and oh it's more broken than I thought. Okay, it's pretty destroyed. So the bottom there is, came completely um, detached. And yeah, well, we have a lot of wax uh, showing now. So that means this thing is completely destroyed. Yeah, I'm going to have to ring them up and ask for a new one because this is not going to work. So this is a disaster. Really cute, but a complete mess. So let's move on. And here are the, the two other pieces, so, mm, oh well. Now my fingers smell like chocolate, and yes, I'm using my shirt as a napkin because 
It's not a fancy shirt. It's fine. Okay, next candle I will show you. I got the Harry Potter Time Turner candle, and this is what the box looks like. It's a blue vessel with a gold design on it with the HP golden lid, and this comes with the Time Turner necklace. Um, so yeah, let's open this up. Now, thankfully, this one is okay. So we have it comes like this. There's the vessel. Kind of hard to see. Let me turn the light on a little bit. A little better. So yeah, it's it's really reflective. Sorry, it's not the best lighting right now. So it's a blue vessel with gold writing. Maybe I'll take another separate video so the ring light isn't really glaring off of it. But let's take a look at the lid. All right, and the lid is in this felt pouch. And here we are. And there's a lid, super shiny. I really like this lid. They did a great job. It's definitely quality. Oops, behind me there's clutter. I'll put it here so you can't see it. <laughs> I have a lot of candles and boxes in my room. So here's the lid. It's a single wick candle with white wax. And this smells really good. Let me show you the scent notes. All right, we have notes of red currant, bright orange zest, worn with accents of rich plum and vanilla musk. And here's the lid on the candle. It's a thin lid, but it's very nicely done. And I'm loving the blue and gold color scheme. I think that looks really nice. I think I mostly get the orange with the red currant. Definitely a citrus scent to this and maybe the vanilla. And I think the vanilla is kind of there to make it a little creamy. So here's my Harry Potter Time Turner candle and I'm loving it. It looks very high end and it's a almost diptyque price, so I was expecting good quality, and I'm loving it. Before we go to the next candle, let me just read you the scent notes for the Chocolate Frog real quick. And by the way, that Chocolate Frog candle did not come in the box, just the bubble wrap. So yeah, where's the box? Might have helped. All right, we have notes of dark chocolate, brown sugar, and vanilla. I guess that's what I get. Chocolate, sugary chocolate, dark chocolate, and, and it smells good enough to eat. Uh, it's weird because online people are, uh, they posted their pictures of this, of this candle and some have three wicks, some have two wicks. So that's kind of weird. But now let's go on to my last candle. And I got the Death Eater candle. I, okay, to be honest, this snake really reminded me of the Bath and Body Works uh, Halloween this year because we have plenty of snakes to choose from accessories wise. So I was kind of excited to get this even though I'm not a huge fan of snakes, but if it ties into Harry Potter and Slytherin, then however you acquire more candles and accessories, then that's okay. Even if it's not your favorite, if it ties into your Harry Potter, it's a, it's it's worth it in my opinion. Um, yes, I have a candle shopping problem. So yes, Death Eater candle. Now let's open it up. All right, took it out of its box, and here is how it came in more bubble wrap, and there's someone's hair on it. So whoever packed this, thank you for your hair. Um, and now. And I wish you packed the chocolate frog better, but that's okay. That's not the worst problem I can have right now. So let's open this up. And snip. It's like a little plastic container, so I think I might keep this just in case I want to transport candles. Here we go. There it is. Is the hair on me? Yes, the hair is on me. <laughs> All right, there's the snake wrap candle holder and it's very reminiscent of the uh, Bath and Body Works snake uh, collection. Let me show you. So this is the candle holder that I got last year from Bath and Body Works. It's the snake and golden roses and this is the Death Eater snake coiled around the candle. Uh, it's definitely more gold than the Bath and Body Works but very very similar and I think I think they'll look great together. And here's the Midnight Spell coil snake uh, candle lid, so we have the candle lid and now a candle holder and the fine fragrance mist uh, Yeah, it's coiled around the fine fragrance mist while this one is coiled around the candle like I said so lots of coiling action happening here Okay, it looks like this one might be um, in trouble too. So we have Quite a big stain in the back there. I'm going to guess the vessel has broken or Something's wrong with the wax. Uh, yeah, uh, let's just see the damage. All right, got it out of the snake, and here we go. Oh, actually, I don't think it's damaged. It's just never mind. False alarm. 
Here's the candle. It's hard to see. I'll take a separate video clip, but it looks like it's a black vessel with with the snake with the Death Eater symbol um, repeated all around the vessel. So very glossy, of course. I'll take a separate video. I just think the wax um, was sweating in the pretty intense heat. Today was, I think, about 98. It's been sitting in the um, locker, the mail locker. So yeah, nothing wrong. It smells really good, so let's take a look at the scent notes. Light and enjoy the dark and mysterious scent blend of rustic teakwood, dark cedar, and glowing amber. Anything with amber I love. When you finish burning, reveal a newly designed limited edition Death Ear necklace inside. Ooh, yay. So let's take a closer look at the candle holder. And this candle holder is actually pretty substantial. I think it's really well made and Let's take a closer look. So you get the snake skin. It looks really creepy and they did a great job. And there's the head of the snake. Really nice. So you can fit whatever candle fits in here. Will be wrapped up with the snake and I'm totally digging it. Let's put the candle inside. And there we go. My very own Slytherin Death Eater candle with the pretty awesome coiled snake candle holder. All right, I situated my Death Eater candle in between my two skulls, so let's take a closer look. And yes, the candle is a glossy black, and it's kind of hard to see the details, but it's the Death Eater symbol repeated all around the candle. So the light is just really bouncing off of the high finish of this vessel, so it's kind of hard to see. Let me turn on my ring light again. Okay, we can kind of see it. So there's the skull with the snake coming out of its uh, mouth. So there's the Death Eater candle. The really bright gold snake candle holder is really, it's a great quality um, piece. So I'm ha really happy with that. So it kind of fits my skull here instead of a rose. I think if there's a snake coming out, this could be my very own Death Eater skull candle holder. And here's the Time Turner candle. And there are different things wrapped around the candle. It says, I mark the hours, everyone, nor have I yet outrun the sun. My use and value unto you are gauged by what you have to do. I have the Time Turner all around the candle, and it looks like stars, and it's really well done. I'm loving the blue and gold together. The golden lid is very, very shiny, and it's a great quality lid. This is something that I would expect from a high-end brand so this has so this was really well done i'm loving this time turner candle and i cannot wait to get the time turner necklace from the wax within and that was my little disaster of a charmed aroma first time unboxing but here are the two candles that i got there's the yankee candle skull my bath and body works i'm burning pumpkin carving on top of my pumpkin skull candle holder there's my new Kohl's pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern candle uh, swirly water globe. I'm burning vetiver glow. And my ho uh, Homeworks witch hat, witch hand water globe, and the um, dud of a chocolate frog candle that we're just going to keep in the corner and forget about. So I hope you enjoy that little unboxing, even though it was slightly messy. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!